Hi, my name is Liza Cohen, and I'm an ophthalmic plastic, orbital, and reconstructive surgeon here at Northwestern Medicine. I treat patients both with functional as well as cosmetic concerns. I see patients with orbital, lacrimal, as well as eyelid and periocular issues, and I treat these conditions both medically as well as surgically. So many patients that I treat with orbital and ophthalmic plastic conditions um, require a multidisciplinary approach because my field has some overlap with related specialties. There's so many excellent specialists here at Northwestern that um, it really makes it easy for patients to obtain that very specialized multidisciplinary care. One such example is a case of a patient with traumatic optic neuropathy who lost vision as a result of skull base fractures and damage to the optic nerve. And I worked in conjunction with the neurosurgical skull base team as well as the head and neck rhinology team to perform an endoscopic optic canal decompression and actually save this woman's vision. Another example of how I've worked with other related specialties is in the care of patients who have thyroid eye disease. These patients have both systemic thyroid problems, namely Graves hyperthyroidism, most commonly, um, as well as periocular and, and orbital issues, such as proptosis or double vision. And I work very closely with endocrinologists in terms of managing um, these patients' orbital conditions through the use of targeted medical immunotherapies and also through managing their systemic thyroid levels um, in addition to taking care of their orbit problems. A third example of how I've managed patients in conjunction with other related specialties is in the care of patients who have skin cancers of the eyelids or the periocular region. I work very closely with Mohs micrographic surgeons in dermatology. They resect the cancer and then I subsequently perform the eyelid or periocular reconstruction. I've worked extensively in developing new approaches to complex orbital conditions, including large posterior orbital tumors, and have reported the use of a combined orbital and endoscopic endonasal approach to resect these large, difficult types of orbital tumors, um, which is just another example of providing multidisciplinary care between myself and head and neck rhinology surgeons. The field of oculoplastic surgery is very exciting because in recent years there's been many new developments that have led to improved outcomes for patients, including the use of novel, minimally invasive approaches to the orbit and the skull base, which have been investigated with our neurosurgical and head and neck colleagues. In addition, there is a newer therapy for thyroid eye disease, which was recently approved called tepratumumab, which specifically targets the pathologic disturbance in thyroid eye disease and has really been a huge benefit to patients who are affected by this condition. It's important for ophthalmologists to be aware of potentially vision-threatening or life-threatening conditions within the realm of orbital and ophthalmic plastic surgery. And when a patient presents with one of these issues, know who to refer the patient to and that there are specialists available who can manage these patients' problems.